Hello guys, what's up, what's up? It's me again, Super Junkie. So this is the old enclosure of my Salmopius Pulcher, or also known as the Panama Blonde. Okay, it looks so messy now. So this is her enclosure ever since she was still 3 inches and now she is going 5. Look at this one. It's full of web and really, really messy. Okay, there's a big poo there, a dried poo actually, in this corner. Look at that so i can find her i wanna make you or let you see her so that you won't be imagining what's her image so okay so what we'll be doing today is that we're gonna be rehousing her into her new enclosure so guys please keep on watching this video I've already prepared our new enclosure for our tea, so you won't be watching a very long and boring step-by-step -step preparations. She definitely needs a lot of ventilation guys as given by the little holes on both sides and the upper opening. The layers are actually clay soil, cocoa peat, and moss with a little aesthetic plastic plant and a beautiful bark or driftwood for her to climb up. Yup, she's an arboreal tea after all. So this is really simple guys and she should be more comfortable now. Back to our old enclosure guys, my eyes are very uneasy with the mess after months to a year. As what I've said guys, we gotta find her and here she is. <laughs> Look at those legs. So we gotta play and tickle her toes a little bit. <laughs> Just a soft touch guys. Ooh, look at that. Oh, please don't do this one if you're still a newbie, guys. So we see the reflexes. And now we just have to get a temporary or an emergency bin to hold her in a few minutes. Here's the whole of her and she's out and proud. I hope you can appreciate her now. Look at her color and structure. Very lovely. But be careful, guys, because this one may bolt as what I have experienced keeping her kind. It wasn't hard for me to get her out to her temporary bin. She's actually willing and nice this time. We better set her aside now and put some last touch to her new home. Yeah, that's definitely what we're going to do. Very adorable, so we close this now and fetch some water. I forgot to tell guys that aside from the top opening of our enclosure, we also have a magnet sealed opening in front for better and easier manipulation of the inside. I just sprayed some water on the moss of course to suffice the hot weather here in the Philippines. Yep, it's very hot here. And of course, if you could remember my clay experiment, here it is guys, our water dish. So we'll be using it for our new enclosure. So we'll put this now and we're gonna pour an ample water. No, oh, shh. Just like that guys. <laughs> and we're all set and it's now ready. So here's again our baby. Oh, I forgot. Not so baby now. So we need our tweezers to push her in. Okay. Just be careful little by little. Okay, you can crawl now on your bark or driftwood. Look at that. She's so cute, guys. Oh, I think she likes the enclosure. So we'll let her be.
For more conversations guys, please follow me on different social media platforms and all you need to do is type Team Super Junkie and you'll see it right.